All right, guys, video 1965 Ford Falcon running. Um, it actually has a 92 Mustang 5.0 fuel-injected motor in it with a four-speed transmission. This car was rotisserie restored a while back, and it is not perfect anymore, but it is very, very nice. The underneath was all painted nice. The guy lived about three miles down a dirt road in the country, so the underneath of it needs a really good detail, but, uh, but the car is actually very neat. Um, I'll try to get the rear frame rails. very very solid um, like I said it is not perfect anymore but it is super nice it needs a little touch up I'll try to get that done I gotta actually drive it up to the store and have them put the put the machine on it so they can get the color right um, I don't know I've never seen anybody use the Mustang style front bumper on there I think it looked out you know turned out pretty cool I always like the teardrop hood scoop um, like I said, the floors and, and underneath are in amazing shape. Um, I'll show you under the hood in a minute, the inner fenders. They're super nice. Um, I think the little rally wheels look cool. Um, just a super neat little Falcon. You don't, uh, you don't see a lot of them. The, uh, You can see all the inner shock towers. I mean, they're in amazing shape. The front frame rails, the inner fenders. Uh, so, like I said, if you were wanting such a car, this thing is in amazing shape. It's got like the March style pulleys on it. Um, nice set of valve covers. It's got a aftermarket BBK throttle body on it um, anyways just like I said needs needs a couple little spots touched up on it um, but just a neat and and you know some people have already mouthed off about the Mustang interior I think it's cool here I mean if you don't like it put it back to stock it's easy enough to do if you really want to do it the dash is in real nice shape I had the trim. I don't know if they had that re-chromed or what, or if they reproduced that or not. But uh, like I said, four-speed. I like the color of the dash. It goes good. The headliner was done. They did. It was kind of cool what they did with the the back seats, the way they molded them in there. Um, anyways, the power windows do work in the front. There are no power windows in the back. Um, they're still the old crank windows. Uh, when they did this car, they did all the rubber seals, they did all the gaskets, window gaskets, everything. Um, and, and again, like I said, the uh, the floors. Like, they're dirty. If I get a chance to get it up over the pit, take me a sponge and wash it. But, uh, like I said, just a cool sounding, cool little cruiser. Um, obviously, it's pretty quick, little bitty car um, with the four speed, little motor. But, uh, all right, guys, 1965 Falcon. Um, I started at 22 on it. Like I said, it, it's, it's a super solid, good car. Um, needs a little cleanup, a little touch up. You'd have your cool little cruiser. Um, you know, if you're serious, you can always call me and make a serious offer. I don't do the texty, texty offer show. Um, and, you know, I've already had one guy, like I said, mild off about the interior. If you don't like it, move on. Go find another one. I I'm starting to learn that most of the people who mild off about other people's cars don't even have a car. So, you know, the hobby, the, the car hobby, 
you know, people used to use metal flake paints, the stripes they liked, the hood scoops they liked, tunnel rams. That's part of what the hobby's about. So, but nobody, you know, like everybody says, you, you don't walk around a car show mouthing off to people about their cars. So I don't know why when you're sitting in your living room, you think it's necessary to run other people's cars down. If you don't like it or you don't like the price, move on. It, nobody cares. We really don't. Nobody asks for your opinion. The car's for sale. It's not for opinion. I, I'm not I'm not putting it on a, on a, a board and asking everybody for their opinion or what they would have done because most people who dream about what they would have done have never done. So again, and I'm sorry to get a little, for the real people who are actually buyers and buying cars, they understand what it costs to rotisserie a car and to actually go through that amount of work to paint it. And as you can see, the front grill is super nice. You know, a lot of money and effort went into this car when it when it was done. And, and to pay a body shop to do that kind of work now would, would cost you a fortune. Um, like I said, you can see they put all new window fuzzies in. The glass is actually in great shape. I don't know if they replaced it all or if it was just that clean. You know, clearly the car couldn't have been too rusty. You know, you could see a little bit of uh, where they kind of overworked a little seam sealer in the rain gutter there. They probably would have been better off to use a little less. But this, this car, and as far as I can tell, there's a couple spots that need to be touched up, like I said. But I don't see any bubbles on the car anywhere. And you've seen the floors and everything. They're in, in, in the frame rails are in amazing shape. I haven't, that door actually shuts. Um, anyways, so there you go, 1965 Ford Falcon. Sorry about my little rant there, but I get tired of people giving me their opinion. I, uh, I'm not asking for your opinion or your permission. And, and while you're sitting at home looking on the internet, I'm out cruising around these cool cars. And it is a fun little car to drive. So you, uh, and again, I like different stuff. You're not gonna see another one at the cruise night set up this way. So, all right guys, thanks, good luck. And like I said, if you're serious, you know, I, I might entertain an offer if it's, if it's decent. But it, it is a nice car, and, and remember what it costs to get a car turned upside down and painted and, you know, new everything. I mean, new brake lines, new window fuzzies, new felts, you know, a lot went into this car. So, anyways, and I appreciate your time. Thanks.